still dark out. All right, today we are going to go see hopefully millions of monarch butterflies. Which is the elevator? Happy man, let's do the Oh, get away from mom. All right, well, we lost the boys. Darn it. Hey, we're gonna go see the monarch butterflies today. Yeah. So that's cool, because these guys fly 3,000 miles down here to Mexico from Canada and the US, and they converge in these areas in Mexico where all these fir trees are. Jesus, oh my, what was that? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta keep that door open, otherwise somebody calls it. No one came in or anything. No. Anyway, isn't that cool though? The, how the monarch butterflies fly three thousand miles, mm -hmm. and then they go down to Mexico. They hang out in these fir trees because it creates this microclimate. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you know, keeps it a certain temperature because it kind of creates this canopy. And then they fly back to Texas and those areas there. And then they die and lay eggs, feed on all that milkweed. And then they slowly make it back up north. And then come the end of the year again, November-ish, they fly back down to Mexico and then come back to uh, March, they fly back up. So we're hoping to see millions of butterflies. I mean, we see pictures on the internet, they're just swarming these trees. Uh, so much so that they'll like break branches and things like that. So anyway, it's six o'clock in the morning. We are headed to get an Uber and then we're meeting at a pickup point and then we're taking a two hour bus ride to this village that I don't know the name of. Huh? Uh, AZM. Okay. Oh, two overs. Uh, hola. Wow. All right, we're here at the meeting spot. Talks. Oh. I think the coffee place, maybe they have some coffee over there? Well, it is a Tokes, whatever that means. Maybe? Yeah, Talks is the place we're meeting. Oh. Yeah. I don't have any money on me, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this town, what is this town that we're going to? Because there's lot, there's several uh, towns that you can go to. Yes, because it spans a huge area. Right, and, and this this isn't this isn't like the biggest area of concentration of butterflies. No. Okay, but it's obviously still going to be. Big. It's just the closest one, so. It, so it we don't have to drive four hours. Or exactly. Something? Okay. Yeah. This is like two and a half hours, and the oh. town that we're going to is called. Val de Bravo. Val de Bravo yes. with a V. Okay. Yes. Well, I think this is going to be pretty exciting, B-Man. Yeah. I think this is going to be that uh, Museum of Little Shops. So that's the town that we're going to be going to. Okay, but and, and we're going to be, but we're going into the reserve? Right. Okay. So we can get some... Mexicano food at the town. Hot chocolate? I don't know that they have hot chocolate, but okay. we definitely they do can. a lot of hot chocolate. Okay. Yeah, I have a very uh, well built in uh, hot chocolate radar. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, B Man, our first stop, and you found some hot chocolate. Yes. So, it's a good day. I mean, it's. You know, out of a machine, but better than nothing. It's actually pretty decent hot chocolate. Is it? Yeah. Okay. And you sure you don't want any? I'm just gonna try Bash's. Okay, Bash, can you can you let him try yours and see if he wants one? No, oh, I would like a uh, to eat. Okay. Now there's vendors outside cooking real good Mexican food. 
You should. I don't, I don't know what they're. It's. I'll help you, but let's go try. I don't want you to like get some gas station food when we have actual legitimate Mexican vendors outside. Do you want it? You hungry? Kinda. Kinda hungry. Okay, let's see what they got here. Pretty cool. Si entra la llamada, pues algo está ahí para, ¿no? Ya va. Sí, hola. Hola. Uh, dos uh, polo, taco. Yeah. Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Rice. Yeah. One rice. Yeah. Yes. 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 Beans. Beans. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, um, I think so. Is that going to be enough? You guys want more? Uh, okay, it's fine. Uh, it's guacamole. Good? Is that, is that five? Yeah, here. This, this is good. Thank you. Thank you. I need to sit down because I got to. Here, I'll take that. How is it? Yeah? You need more? Yeah. How is it, B man? Good. See? Is it better than that hot dog you had? <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah. You can get a napkin from him after you're done. Stuffing that in your mouth. And it's gone. <laughs> you get his toilet like this. Like that. And that's how you do it. You just hold it like that and you chop down. There you go. Perfect. Do you need some more, Aiden? Sure. But it was really good. Yeah. So now we feel good about going and eating tacos. Yeah. Major tourist area. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, how was that ride? Fun. Not too bad. It was windy, mountain roads. Look at all these lodge pines, or what appears to be lodge pines. Looks like the Pacific Northwest here. Yeah. Looks like Oregon or California. I'm probably going to end up buying a scarf, just so you know. Okay. You got it? You're cold? But don't you think once we no. start... No, I'm not cold. Oh. So why do you want to buy a scarf? Because they're butterfly scarves. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense. Um, okay, so where are we here? So we got, we're right, so we're right next to Val de Bravo. I guess we're, this is the nature reserve. This area right here, I guess there's another nature reserve. I guess these are different nature reserves. So I guess we're in this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Mexico City's there. And you. Look at that. Look at that. Cute little tickets. What number are you? I am 3,587. Mm -hmm. I am 30059. Noise. You want to no one was horse is 250. It's not necessary. It's one kilometer and a half. <laughs> <laughs> hey, our first hike in Mexico. It's one kilometer. One and a half. Oh, okay. I think we'll survive. Yeah. Yeah. 
longer hikes with her grandma. Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, yeah. Nectar from the, like the oh, flowers. Oh, it does smell great here, doesn't it? Oh, fresh air. Piney fresh air. This is awesome. Well, I mean, it is only like a kilometer and a half, but it is a kilometer and a half straight up. So. Not straight up. Well, not straight up, but it's up. Yeah, I can't get over it. We could easily be somewhere in the U.S. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Es bueno? Sí. Yeah. I have it on good authority, it's good up there. I saw. Okay. So we see such it. Because it's the shape of uh, hummingbird flying with the wings down. Oh, hummingbird. Yeah. Ah. And the butterfly is the nectar or inside. <laughs> hummingbird flower. <laughs> oh. Well, we had a bit of a technical difficulty here and mainly to do with some counterfeit SD cards that I had purchased and hadn't gotten to use yet. Uh, but anyway, we uh, lost a bunch of footage. And part of the footage is obviously some of the most important footage of this day and that was of all the butterflies. So unfortunately, I don't have hardly any footage of the swarms of monarch butterflies. But take it from me, take it from the boys, take it from Amy. It was a fantastic experience and it's definitely something you do not want to miss. So what else uh, are we doing? So we're done, we've seen the butterflies, we're hiking back. We're do... gonna go to the, that town that we uh, saw on the map. Oh, so we're going to go like do a little town visit? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. I guess uh, lunch is there? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we just stopped at Valle de Bravo and we have two and a half hours, so I guess, to eat and check the place out. It's a town on our way back. It's got a humongous lake next to it. La Oveja? Negra? It's the black sheep. What's the, how do you say it in Spanish? La oveja negra. Mexican. Look how spicy it is. Yeah, so we just got this. Uh, the flavor. Yeah. It is really spicy. Wow. We just got bread and salsa. Never had bread and salsa delivered before. It's good though. It is very good. I mean, I'm surprised you guys are liking it. That is spicy. That is so spicy. Ooh. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Look at all that. So, what, is this the chilaquias? Yes, that's the chilaquias. And that's the uh, ham and cheese quesadilla. Sorrento Lana. Oh, it's quesadilla? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm selling. But I had an S name or something. So this is nachos. Nachos with an egg. I mean, it's verde sauce and chips and egg. I mean, it's pretty good. How's your breaded steak, me man? Good. Yeah? What about your chicken? Good. We have a piece. Can I cut, my, cut myself off a piece there? Yeah.
get the right sauce. Really big piece, is that okay? Yeah. Give it a little verde sauce. I'm going to spread the rice on top of my sauce. It's not that crunchy, but it's okay. I still like it. It's breaded chicken. Alright, so what do we got here? I still like the ones that Shapley were. Thank you. It's really good. I love birthday sauce. This Roja is better, if you ask me, than the Verde. Yeah. It's pretty good. Nice. I hope you catch the deal. Really good? Alright. Yeah. Alright, well I'm gonna put this down to eat. For that tendon? Yes. I gave you my knife, it's not as dull as yours. Did you lick your plate? Please? Yeah, dude. Did you lick your plate? No, I didn't actually. Jeez. Alright, did you get enough to eat? Should we find a dessert? Okay. But B man, you're not in the mood for desserts, are you? Come Little boat ride, huh? I didn't like it because all the wind messed up my hair a little bit. But anyway, I'll fix it. That's good. We're going to the downtown. Five blocks of downtown. It's a nice place. This Val de Bravo is very cool. I think I like this bracelet the most of any bracelet I got. Really? Yeah. That's a that's a lot of bracelets you're comparing it to. Yeah. Well, this is like leather white and light blue. That's a pretty nice bracelet. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice bracelet. Clown alert. So this is the main square in Val de Bravo. Yes. Go that way, okay? Because I guess that's the main church. Or just rush that way before you. It's a good looking church. Let's yeah. get a better picture of it. How many steps did you guys get today? What is that? 22,000 steps today? Yeah. And I got 22,210. 42,000 as well. Yeah. Jeez, guys. I think that was a pretty good day. A lot of walking today. That's nice, though. Finally get out. Been in the city, cooped up. This doing work and I've school and all that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a good job, man. Well, I'm sure if you would have had those uh, step counters on the EBC, uh, we'd, we'd <laughs> you, be getting like 50,000 a day. <laughs> you would have nuked those. Yeah. I think probably 30,000 a day probably was a normal day. <laughs> All right, more stairs. Yeah. <laughs> so now we just stopped and I guess we're gonna go to some lookout mm -hmm. and that's gonna be the last thing for today. Yep. This has been an action-packed tour. Yeah. Jeez, nonstop. 
So that right there is what we're going to. I hope there weren't any more hills. What? The best view is on the top. Okay. The top. Oh, this is right a pretty good view. Side. Yeah, and they are different, but the best is on the top. Okay. Why is always the best view on all top of all the stairs? <laughs> Who invented that? This tour's been a bit more uh, energy uh, taking than I thought it would be. I had no idea we'd be trekking this much. Now we're going up this very large rock to get a good view of the lake that we just went out on the boat with. <laughs> We uh, pulled up in the van. I'm like, oh. He was like, I don't feel like going up the hill. I'm like, what are you talking about? There's no hill. And uh, anyway, I didn't realize that we'd have to hike this thing. I'm out of breath. Man, we're pretty good with altitude, but that's pretty good. Okay, how many steps do you have now? Okay, good 25,000 a day. That's good. Well, this day keeps it. We started what, 12 hours ago? We got up about 12 hours ago. A long day. Yeah, it's 5.30. All right. This has been fun. Hey, wife. What are you at, step-wise? Okay. And that can get more water. Yes. Let's definitely get more water. Alright. I think that's it. Now that's it. Now I have to get to the bathroom. Okay. Like, you know, that's what it would feel like. 